I'm a Verizon uh, uh, customer. I don't mind uh, Verizon turning over records to the government if the government's going to make sure that they try to match up a known terrorist uh, phone yeah. with, with somebody in the United States. I, I don't think you're talking to terrorists. I, I know you're not. I'm no, I know I'm not, so we don't have anything to worry about. I'm glad the activity is going on, but it is limited to tracking people who are suspected to be terrorists and who they may be talking to. Are you, are you sure? Yes. That's what it's supposed to be, but are you sure they're still doing that? Yes, I'm sure okay. that that's what they're so doing. So this is not new to you. Not, it's not the 100 no. million uh, customers that, okay. that the original report said. All right. So I'm sure we should be doing this. Okay. All right. That All right, so explain to me, uh, like Lindsey Graham tried to there and other Republicans and conservatives have and security experts, why I should not be concerned and we as a, as a public should not be concerned about this. Well, let me tell you, Steve, I was on the Intelligence Committee for five years until 2006 to 2011. I lived through this with the warrantless wiretapping effort that the Bush administration carried out, which I also think was legal and, and stopped terrorist plots. President Obama and his administration has done nothing wrong here. This was vetted by the courts, by the secret FISA court. This was carefully briefed to Congress every three months. This is not a compromise of civil liberties. What this is, Steve, is a serious compromise of a very effective counterterrorism tool by person to persons who decided on their own to damage American security. Right, you mean the leaker, obviously, and, and, and you know, we, we don't know who that is yet, but um, we could be sure that uh, probably uh, uh, the writer of the article will be uh, have the co-conspirator by uh, the Justice Department. But, now, but, but, Fred, should there be concerns based on what we know about the IRS and, and, and other scandals? Should, should, should we be concerned that somehow this can be abused and might be abused? I, I think those are very valid questions, but... The Obama administration in this instance has played it right. There are very liberal members of both intelligence committees. They've been briefed on this every three months. I've worked with some of them. They would never have tolerated the kinds of abuses we've seen written up in the newspapers recently. There's one member, Senator Ron Wyden, who claimed he's been warning against this for years and he didn't like it, but he couldn't say anything for classification reasons. Nonsense. If Wyden felt that seriously about this, there's a lot of things he could have done. He could have put holds on nominations. He could have made cryptic speeches on the floor. He could have made demands to the president. He didn't do that. Well, Sensenbrenner so, all, Sensenbrenner also says he helped write the Patriot Act, and he doesn't like this. Sensenbrenner is not on the Intelligence Committee. Sensenbrenner is reacting by what he has heard in the news media. The people on the intelligence committees who are aware of this are supportive. And this includes Dianne Feinstein, one of the most liberal members of the Senate. Feinstein is supportive of this program. She's a Democrat, and she says it has stopped terrorist attacks. I, put, I would defer to Feinstein long before I would defer to members of Congress who are not on the committee and are not familiar with this program, what, what these two programs have done. All right. Well, Fred, uh, how much of a devastating blow is it, um, you know, now that it's been revealed? How, how could the terrorists circumvent this? It, it, it's a terrible blow. We already know. The reason we have programs like this, Steve, if, you've watched, if you watch series like Homeland or 24, you see – uh, terrorists and criminals use a cell phone once and throw it away. They really do this. That's why we have to have aggressive programs to stop uh, terrorists and people who do us harm to use uh, the Internet and other, other electronic media to attack the United States. And I know what some of these methods are. I'm not going to talk about them. But uh, the NSA and the CIA have to be extremely aggressive to do this. And frankly, if you call an al-Qaeda member in, in Pakistan, Steve, I don't think you're entitled – to any special protections. You are doing something that's violating the security of all of us, and I think the NSA has a right to listen into that call. Oh, I couldn't agree with you more on that. You know, it, 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 what concerned me, the, the way the reports leaked out, it was first for all Verizon phone calls, then it became obvious it was more than just Verizon. All right, Fred, obviously, um, we, we appreciate your expertise, and hopefully we gained a little reassurance from hearing what you had to say. Uh, can I get to We got about 30 about seconds, that? so go. Yeah, 30 seconds, though. This was, this was designed
designed by someone with special access. This prism, these prism overviews that are on the Washington Post today, this is a briefing to someone special. High-level people, members of Congress, intelligence committee staffers, they need to be investigated to find out who's behind this. Okay, fair enough. 